today I'm gonna be making peanut butter blondies. I don't really know what they are. I've never made them and I've never had them, but I found a recipe and they sound pretty good and easy. So we're gonna try. Don't look at the stuff laid out for dinner back there. First, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. I will link below the recipe that I'm using, but all you need is a stick of butter, brown sugar, vanilla, salt, an egg, peanut butter, and flour. But I'm also going to be adding some Reese eggs and Reese's pieces. Reese pieces, whatever you want to call them. I've also been tanning today and I feel like I'm already like my summer tan. And also this color I feel like just makes you look pretty tan too. This isn't the best angle I know, but the first step is to melt the butter. I also need to put up my hair because it always seems to end up in like everything I cook or bake. Butter has been melted. Next is one cup of brown sugar. You just mix that up now. This is so crooked. Mix that. Next you add the egg and vanilla extract. I always feel like when I'm recording myself baking, I go faster because I don't want to have a bunch of boring, like, silent parts when I'm editing. Now we're going to mix this up. The next step is mixing in the peanut butter. So we do half a cup of peanut butter. I'm using Jif reduced fat. I know there's healthy peanut butter blondie recipes, but I'm sure this one is not one of the healthier ones. Half a cup of peanut butter. And mix that. Lastly is the salt and the flour. This already smells really good. Like the batter smells so good. One cup of flour. And it says a fourth a teaspoon of salt, so I'm just gonna do a little pinch. And now mix that up. I don't even know what type of consistency this will be. If it'll be like cake consistency or brownie consistency. Right now it's, I don't know. I would say in between a cake consistency and a brownie consistency. Or maybe in between cake and cookie. Yeah, let me show you. It's kind of like thick, but also still kind of moist in there. I guess we will just see how they turn out. This has gone really fast. It has not taken long at all, but hopefully they're really good. Okay, I would say that's good and mixed. I was supposed to do this first, but it says to line an eight by eight baking dish with parchment paper or aluminum foil and lightly grease with cooking spray. So I'll use parchment paper because aluminum foil in the oven kind of scares me. I don't know why, but I always just think it's going to start a fire. I also don't know if this is an 8x8, but this is what I'm going to use. I don't know why you have to... I don't know if I spray it with the cooking spray before I put the parchment paper in or on top. Maybe I'll do on top. I feel like that would be what would work. And also, oh, cooking spray. Okay. 
Hopefully this is what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to. I also hate like using that because it's hard to get it in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll work. I'm gonna try to flatten it out as much as I can. And hopefully it will bake even. Okay. I'm gonna see how long this has to bake. 20 to 25 minutes. I think I'm going to bake it and then put these on top and kind of decorate it. And maybe see if there's some sprinkles or something. That would probably be so cute. But I'm just going to put this in for 20 to 25 minutes or into, until a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out clean. We'll start with 20 minutes. And I will come back whenever they're ready. I'm actually gonna try the batter real quick and this might be like all butter because it's the bottom of the bowl, but we'll still try it. It's pretty good. I mostly just get like a peanut butter taste, but I like peanut butter. It's been 20 minutes, so I'm gonna see if they're done. They smell like peanut butter cookies. Oh, they're still kind of jiggly. I'll do five more minutes. Actually, I'm just gonna do three. Cause maybe they'll like finish cook baking whenever they're outside the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and put the Reese cups and everything on top. I think for the Reese eggs, I'm gonna like tear them into little pieces, maybe. This is what they're looking like, and I'll come back when they're done. Here they are. I really want to try them, but they're not cooled yet. They're still kind of... I feel like if they sit for a little while, then they'll be fully ready. But I'm so excited to try them. I just have to cut them and try them now. They're still not very cool, but I just can't wait. Oh, they're so gooey. I feel like they're not done on the inside. <laughs> they are not done on the inside at all. After I try a piece, I'm going to put them back in the oven. Because <laughs> I don't care if mine's gooey, but I don't want the whole thing to just like fall apart. Okay, this outside piece is pretty done. It's actually like really crispy on the outside. <laughs> it's not that good. Like, it doesn't have a very strong flavor. I was expecting more. <laughs> It's so hot. I wish it would focus on this, but I can't touch the screen. <laughs> I kind of hate it. Like, it's literally not special at all. It's fine. I'll eat them. And I'll still make my family eat them, but I would not really crave these i guess if you're not like you don't like super sweet desserts but you want peanut butter then this would be good <laughs> actually that bite was really good because it had the reese cup on it oh my gosh that one was really good 
But I'm gonna put them back in the oven. <laughs> that way they can finish baking all the way through. Then maybe I'll try another one when they're actually done. I just couldn't wait. I don't know how much longer to do. Maybe like five minutes. Because the outsides are pretty crispy, but the insides aren't done at all. So I'll come back in a little while. It's been a while now. I ended up making some oatmeal and oatmeal raisin cookies too because my dad doesn't like peanut butter so I made a dessert for him that he would like. I'm going to try the finished product now. <laughs> they look so good, like they really do. They are pretty good, and I actually would make these again. I love how like thick they got, I guess. So if you like peanut butter and like Reese cups and like chocolatey desserts, then you should try making these. I hope you love them, and I hope you liked this video, and I will see you if I ever make another YouTube video. Bye!